thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Oh no. That didn't go as planned today. I really was going for the aesthetic intro today and it didn't work like it did last time. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever and that's because I have not. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna end up being able to film a video this week either. I feel like so much has just been going on. Yes, we've been going through a lot. A lot of you guys have been leaving such sweet comments and we're definitely being tested right now in this season of our life. We've also just been very busy. Like on top of everything that we've just kind of been going through, we've just been really busy. It's a really busy time in our life right now, apparently. And so I've just felt like it's been a lot. I took a breather. Okay, I needed it. I'm ready to be filming again. So we do have a Walmart grocery haul. It's actually a delivery. So it's probably being delivered to my house like right now. So I'm kind of stay away because that's pretty awkward but i also got a few things yesterday at kroger because they we noticed they have a lot of good sales on like their meat and stuff like that so i'm gonna show that to you guys as well because it kind of goes with our meal plan for the week and stuff like that also going to be meal prepping my lunches josh actually told me he wants to start having his lunches meal prepped as well but this week i found a little meal prep recipe on tiktok that i'm gonna do and it's a pretty healthy one so i'm going to film it and share it but also i was thinking about sharing what we're making for dinner tonight because I found it on Pinterest. We've made it once before and it was so good. We loved it. The kids liked it, which is like, it's hard to find recipes that our kids like too. So lots of like food content today. I hope you guys are excited about that. If you are new here, my name is Courtney. I am a mom to three boys that are eight. Now they're eight, five, and two and a half. My two and a half year old turns three in June. Sometimes I'll do shop with me's where I'll go into Walmart and show new items that I find in there. I just don't do that every single week because I feel like how many new items am I going to find in the same store every single week? So probably in the next grocery video I will. And I share a lot of recipes and things like that. Just all kinds of things. Just check out the previous yeah, yeah, videos. Yeah. I have to go get some gas. Okay, because I got in the car and it says low fuel. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the gas station, ladies. And then we're going to go home. So we got home just in time, like right after our groceries were dropped off. So this was perfect. So here's our little grocery haul for the week. This is everything I got from Walmart and Kroger. And it was about 130 ish dollars for all the food. So that doesn't include the laundry detergent. I'm gonna start down here with what we got from Kroger. Cause like I said, basically just meat. So for this ground beef, it was $3.99 per pound, which is amazing. So we just went ahead and got three of these and we're most likely gonna freeze them. We're gonna use one of them tonight actually, but we'll freeze the other two. We actually bought some of these about a week or two ago from there because they were $5. It's just two chicken breasts, but it's already marinated. So this one right here is tomato, herb, boneless, and skinless chicken breast. Actually, I don't know if we got this one last time because I thought the other one was like a hickory barbecue something something. Hopefully this one's good, but we did get the lemon pepper last time and it was very good. So me and Josh really like these because he can just grill them up really quick throw some vegetables on the side and it's a very easy and healthy dinner. They also had this package of pork chops for only $5. We got this the last time we ran in there as well. So we've pretty much decided that we're going to check Kroger every Sunday whenever we're near our Kroger and just check the meat sales because this right here is easily enough meat for the week and it was just priced really well. So the rest of this is from Walmart. We got some strawberries, some Granny Smith apples, some green grapes. We have not bought these little mini extra sweet corn on the cobs in a minute, but these are so good whenever Josh puts them on the grill. I don't even know what he does, but they are so good. I did get some chicken tenderloins for my lunch little meal prep thing because I forgot when I was at Kroger. So we did get this from Walmart and then I have actually never tried this right here before, but since we're gonna be doing a lot of grilling, like Josh, Josh loves to grill. Most of this stuff right here, this meat is going to be grilled. And so I figured this would be an easy way to get some vegetables in. And I told him, you know what, we'll just try it. You can, I don't even know how you do this. I guess just throw this thing on the ground. I don't, girl, I don't know, let me know if you've tried it. It was $4, so we'll see, I don't know but there's no prep or anything to it. I think that's why I was excited about it because it's kind of like there's no excuse. You don't have to do anything. It's really easy and it's vegetables for a side. So all of this right here is for my little lunch meal prep thing. So we got some ready rice, the jasmine rice, and then we got some cauliflower rice. 
and I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna do with that. And then some of this fire roasted corn, which looks really good. My Walmart did not have the seasoning that the girl used in her lunch prep. This margarita seasoning seemed like the closest thing to it. I don't know. I guess we will see. And then it also called for this Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch, which I've never bought in the store before, but I do like this dressing. So I am excited to have that on hand. We got some taco seasoning. We have string cheese. And then I got all of my little Chobani flips, you guys. I'm obsessed with these. This one right here is my favorite. So I got the peanut butter cup, the cookie dough, the coconut caramel cookie, and oh, I guess I got two of the peanut butter cup ones. This is my favorite protein bar. I don't know if like the macros and stuff are like ideal, okay? But I've tried different ones and this is the only one that tastes good. Like this tastes like I'm having a treat or like a candy bar and it still has 16 grams of protein. So whatever works, I guess. I have some other ones in the cabinet. I'll show them to you. And it's a brand that a lot of people rave about, but I like these better. <laughs> we got some salsa, some taco shells. Skip over here. We got some shredded cheese, some cream cheese, mac and cheese for the boys. I also got the boys these little Scooby snacks. They haven't had those in a while. These, you guys, we got to keep these in the freezer. Like we, we don't run out of these. If we run out of these, it's an issue. It's one of Miles' safe foods that he'll eat in the mornings for breakfast. I know it's not like the most healthy thing ever, but it's a safe food that we have to have in the house. We got some water. We got some laundry detergent. Let me just tell you, I have recently had so many people compliment how I, even if I'm not wearing perfume, okay, compliment how I smell or specifically like they'll ask me what laundry detergent I use because they can smell it and this is it. This right here is it, okay? And then we got Joshua his cranberry grape juice. That is everything, I do believe. So I'm gonna get all this put away and then I guess we'll start on this little lunch meal prep. Wish me luck, I've never had it before, so hopefully it's good. So I just ran around and straightened up my kitchen because it was a hot mess and we're gonna be filming in there in a minute, but this just came in the mail, okay? And you guys have heard me talk about Dossier a whole bunch of times and how much I love how you can find affordable perfumes and colognes and you know, you can go on their website, you can search for any like high-end luxury fragrance that you love and you can find a dupe on their website for a fraction of the cost. I saw this, okay? This is called the Discovery Set and I thought it was interesting. So if you're ordering online and you're nervous and you kind of want to have the option to test out or smell a whole bunch of their fragrances so you can figure out which one you like best maybe before you buy a big bottle you can do this how many's in here 10 there's 10 fragrances in here it has all of the fragrances you get a giant card with this one you want to pause to read all the fragrances and all the information what they're inspired by is on here so it looks like we have ambery saffron ambery vanilla aromatic star and okay i'm gonna butcher that i'll pop it on the screen bubbly spritz and bitters caramelized lavender and hazelnut woody sandalwood rose and basil bliss musky oak moss, fruity almond and floral marshmallow. So there's some in here that I don't already have. So I'm really excited, but also they're even smaller. Maybe if you have a really small handbag or something like that, I always throw my dossier perfumes in my bag because they have the magnetic lid so they don't spill or anything. But if you have like a tiny little, you know, you need something smaller, these are perfect too. Here we go. Let's see. I want to smell a couple that I've never smelled before. Bubbly spritz and bitters. This is from their speak easy collection. Mm, you can smell I like that. It smells like a lime scent to it. I like that. Rose and Basil Bliss. Is this from the, the Wellness Collection? Okay. Floral, powdery, clean kind of scent. Let's smell one more. This one. The one that I thought I was going to butcher. Here is that fragrance. Oh, okay. It's inspired by a Dior fragrance. Oh, that smells really good. I'm adding this one to Josh's collection. He can like keep this just like in his truck. That smells really good. If you're interested in trying out Dossier and you kind of want to be able to like smell a whole bunch of different fragrances before you commit to buying a large bottle, this is a really good idea. But again, you can buy the normal size bottle and if you don't like it whenever you receive it, you can return it, no questions asked. So we love that and we love Dossier. I'm gonna leave all their information down below. You guys already know I'm obsessed. Now I have to find somewhere to store these small ones along with my big ones. Anyways, let's get to this meal prepping. 
because I want to do this, knock this out before brass gets off the bus. So this is everything you're gonna need for your little lunch meal prep. So you're gonna need chicken tenderloins, avocado lime ranch. She used some paprika and then again, she used a different seasoning. I'll pop up a picture of the packet she used just in case this one doesn't turn out being good. You also need this fire roasted corn and then she said that she likes to do half and half. So half regular rice and half cauliflower rice. Apparently it will taste the same and you're like sneaking in veggies. So we will see. I've never had cauliflower rice. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you. So we're gonna start with going ahead and getting our chicken ready. So she said she just seasoned her chicken with this seasoning and the paprika. I have no idea how much she put on there, so we're just gonna sprinkle it on. We don't want her to be bland, you know? I hope this is good, I seriously have never had this before. Okay, so we got our chicken seasoned. Ignore my air fryer. She's a little dirty right now, but it's okay. So she said she does 400 and then she does five minutes on each side. Okay, and then we're gonna work on our rice and stuff while this cooks. So all of these I think are just like things that you can pop in the microwave, so they're super easy. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions on all of these. All right, just kidding. The corn says do not make it in the microwave. You have to make it in the oven. So don't, don't make that mistake. So I went ahead and did the boring part, which is mix together the regular rice and the cauliflower rice. So now we're just going to put in our bowls. And I think this is a really great idea. So that way you are getting a vegetable in. Kind of blatting it here. Next, we're adding in our corn, which this corn looks really, really good. I feel like this will give it just like a little something extra. She said you can put however much corn you want. She did half a cup of the rice mixture in each bowl. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I'm gonna add a lot of corn because the corn's not gonna hurt nothing. The chicken cooked perfectly for 10 minutes in the air fryer on 400. I kind of like to shred my chicken up a bit. We're doing two tenders in each bowl. The last thing we're gonna add is this dressing here and I wanna show you how she adds her dressing. I'm going to give her credit down below because I probably will get a lot of ideas from her. So she uses a syringe because she said it gives you the perfect drizzle of sauce and it definitely does. This is the first time that I've ever done this. But essentially I think it's supposed to help you cover all of your food without using way entirely too many condiments. So right off the bat it looks good and it smells really good. I'm about to do a taste test right now because I have not had anything to eat today. So we're gonna have this together for lunch. Every time I make a video, someone asks me where I got my t-shirt that I'm wearing in the video, because pretty much every day I'm wearing a Christian t-shirt. And I get all of them from Love and Faith. I have a discount code. I'll put it down below. That's where I get all of my Christian tees now. They fit perfectly. They don't shrink up all crazy in the dryer. And they have so, like, so many cute ones. This one says, stronger than the storm. This is the first time I've wore it. I just wanted to address that because I really seriously do get a question every single time, every video. But here she is. We've got to get everything in the bite. I think this looks like a good bite. Got everything up in there. Yes. First bite. Yes, I'm making this again. I've never made chicken in the air fryer. This is so good. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect to like it this much. You guys have to try it. It really is good. So for dinner tonight, we are having these like cheesy taquitos. And I found this recipe on Pinterest. I actually saw this recipe multiple times when I was scrolling through Pinterest trying to find dinners. And I never tried to make it because I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it turned out to be. But trust me, it's very good and it's kid friendly. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. It's kind of self-explanatory how I make it. So I'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch me make it. But I didn't wanna skip over and not share it with you guys because it is so good.
So right away, what's this? Does anybody else have that problem where you literally can do this? You can just touch your neck like this and it'll be red for like three hours. It's very annoying. Anyways, today was a very good food day. My lunch was delicious. Dinner was delicious. You guys have to try both of those recipes. They're so good. The dinner recipe wasn't anything where it's like I'm trying to watch what I'm eating or anything like that, but I also feel like it I could be wrong. It's not terrible. You know what I mean? And there's always like the, is it like low fat cream cheese you can get? There's the different tortillas you can buy. I just didn't do that today. Okay. So my last video that I posted was the first grocery haul I had filmed in forever. And I had a lot of you guys say that you missed the reading in that video. And I do not know why I didn't think to do a reading in that video. I guess I just always feel like my vlogs and my grocery videos are just like two completely different types of videos. But I don't know why I thought that meant that I couldn't do a devotional reading in it because I can. So we're going to do, we're going to read from our Psalms devotional book today. I love that this one's dated because you just open it up to whatever today's date is. And I just feel like it's what we are meant to read on that specific day. So it's March 25th. This one says, show and tell. Psalm 143, 8. Tell me in the morning about your love because I trust you. Show me what I should do because my prayers go up to you. There are many verses in the Bible that talk about morning prayer. Jesus himself set an example by getting up early and going to a quiet place to talk with God. There is something about the morning that God values. Morning symbolize new life, strong hope, and fresh beginnings. All things that we know God is passionate about. When we seek God in the morning, we consecrate the first moments of the day. By coming and placing ourselves at his feet before we do anything else we put him first in our hearts souls and minds lord jesus i put you first in my heart and mind this morning i set my eyes on you and ask you to calm the storm of the day as i follow you into it i really like that and i do feel like my days in general are just better and i'm more positive and everything whenever i start my day with reading from my devotional, doing my guided journal, reading from my Bible, praying in the morning is something that I want to get much, much better at. I tend to pray before I go to bed, but praying in the morning is something that I, if I'm get, being completely transparent here, it's not something that I have done. So I think I do want to start doing that. I like being honest and transparent with you guys and, and prayer is something that I've been working on because it's never been something that I've been good at. I mean, it's not that you can be bad at it. Like you, pr there's not, you know, praying wrong. But what I mean by being good at it is praying more, praying throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Constantly having conversation with God, not just a prayer before bed. Does that make sense? And I'm, I'm working on that. But I will be doing my readings in all of my videos. I'm so sorry. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. I enjoyed doing like the food content and stuff. And since me and Josh are gonna be doing lots of meal prepping, we're gonna be experimenting with, we're gonna be finding all kinds of different recipes and stuff and trying them out. If you guys want me to, I will film all of those if you're if you are wanting to meal prep or looking for some like healthier lunch ideas and stuff like that it's going to be an experiment all of them will be because they're going to all be new recipes to us if you have any that you think we will like share the links or like comment them down below because again we're going to be looking for ideas and i, I feel like there's going to be a ton of just like chicken and rice you know what i mean so we're going to be trying to look for different things so we don't get bored of the meals and burnout and all that but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.